17th morning, we were there in Delhi, back to Sri Satsai International Center. And that 17th afternoon, we reached there, and then we had our lunch, and then we spent that night in New Delhi on 17th night, and left next morning on 18th after lunch around 2 o'clock and reached Prashantalayam before 4.30 because from 4.30 Rahu Kalam begins and Swami is particular that we should be here before 4.30 and we reach here. The Delhi people gave us farewell with a heavy heart. My friends, I cannot but make a mention of Simla. The Simla building is constructed by people of all classes. Everybody participated. I was in tears when someone said, Mr. Anil Kumar, there are some people that donated 10 rupees, 20 rupees also for this building. 10 rupees, 20 rupees. There are some people that donated part of their pension, part of their provident fund. So, Simla Mandir is people's mandir. Simla Mandir is the mandir of the devotees, of the devotees, by the devotees, for the devotees. And people from the whole state used to assemble there and did Sramadhan, participated in service, lifting the material, carrying the material during the construction of, the, of that mandir. Therefore, mandir represents devotion, sacrifice, faith. And Baba has shown to the world that a common man, that an ordinary man, out of devotion, can do extraordinary things, extraordinary things. Ordinary man doing extraordinary things that what I have seen, Simla. Visit to Delhi and Simla is a lifetime opportunity. The life is short. To have come to know God is difficult. To be with God is rare. To travel with Him is the rarest of all and a wonderful blessing. And this opportunity of sharing my experiences, joy, thrill and excitement during the dream, during this divine trip is certainly beyond doubt a benediction. May Bhagavan bless you. Om Shanti 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 Sairam